good news everybody twiggles back with another video and today's video is now this gun's been out for a minute uh i was kinda, actually kind of waiting until the mythic version of this gun came out of course i'm talking about the cbr4 aka the p90 now guys i'm sure by now most of you un have unlocked this gun it is uh it's one of the more interesting smgs we've gotten because it doesn't feel overpowered because of the recoil pattern on this uh smg which is actually makes it kind of nice because it doesn't feel like when we get new guns they're instant meta or they're instantly broken aka the mx9 but it is still very much viable it all depends on what loadout and style of gameplay you use while running with this particular gun guys i'm going to show you the loadout that i've come up with so far that i think kind of fits really well with this gun obviously it's uh, more of just a guide to kind of help you get a better grasp and to kind of help you figure out the, this uh, new SMG for your style of play. Now, please, before we get into this loadout and the breakdown of this gun, please drop a like and subscribe. Help us earn our goal to 250 plus subscribers. We're closing in. We're getting there so close. All right. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. So here we are in the in the gunsmith. As you can see, the movement on this gun with no attachments is actually pretty nice, as it should be for being an SMG. The biggest downfall about this thing, as you will see, is that a upper right style uh, kit, uh, recoil to the gun, which these this style of recoil is the much harder to control of all of them because it's always pulling to an upper right angle, making it a lot harder to hit those a lot further away shots. Um, the, until you start putting attachments on it to help control the recoil. The BSA on this gun is actually, as you can tell from uh, here at the shooting board, is everything seems to stick really well in line, so you're not too worried about bullet spread accuracy. Now, of course, this thing does uh, 28 to the chest, 24 to the hands, and 32 to the head, so we're gonna back it out to 20. This is where it takes a bit, yeah. So as you can tell, this is where it actually starts really dropping off. 18 and 24, so pull it back into 10. And yeah, so it's effective until about 12, 13 meters. Now again, like I said, this is the no attachments model, just so you can see, well, kind of how the recoil on this is. Now. This is the loadout I'm running. I'll show you this before we get into some gameplay. Of course, you know, before we get into that, you gotta do the little weapon inspection on the Mythic. I think it's really cool with the little alien they put inside the gun, uh, especially with the kill effects they've added. Kinda makes it a little interesting. But as you can see, it still shoots up to that upper right, even with all the uh, attachments I even have on it but it does make it a little bit easier. You do kind of have to basically pull in the opposite direction to maintain that ability to, uh, you do have to pull in the opposite direction in order to maintain that ability to control it, but at least with a certain uh, barrel attachment, you will still be able to hit more or less the same amount of damage. Yeah, as you can tell, it's a little more accurate than the, the normal. And of course, with the extended barrel on it, it does have a little further range. Now, of course, with that recoil, it, I mean, you're not going to be engaging people at 30 meters with this thing. You're just going to have to get over it. Guys, we're going to go into the gunsmith. I'm going to show you this loadout, and then we're going to do some gameplay and wrap this up. So here we are in the gunsmith, guys. So, so far, now the marksman barrel, I, my, like me and myself, because it's an SMG, it already has a much faster ADS time than like ARs and snipers. So I feel like you're able to kind of build out SMGs better for a little bit further uh engagements in the firefight and when you're fighting so i would recommend the marks and barrel especially because it has uh it does help you with horizontal and vertical control and it gives you that damage range buff the only downside it does have 12 percent uh penalty on ads time but like i said it's an smg so the thing's still gonna be uh it's still gonna ads pretty fast and then so between all of them the one that i thought did the most like helped the most Oh, I have been running the wrong one. Look at that. I mean, it helps when you actually go in and pay attention. So it's actually going to be the light compensator is going to be your best friend. It's going to help you more with that controlling that vertical recoil. I mean, again, it's kicking to the upper right. 
So you're still going to have to compensate for that. But from there, uh, you can kind of go between this, uh, the combat stock because you'll get a little bit better on the ADS time. Or, But I prefer the YKM because of the marksman you do. And another particular... Uh, attachment you do lose a lot of mobility so i think this helps uh, compensate for that from there it's gonna now you have three different types of grips you know just like the rear grip these for this um, four grip does exactly the same thing so i recommend the stippled which is kind of funny because normally stippled is more for ads this has more to do with actual bullet spread horizontal and vertical control so you're really focusing on this build's really focused towards vertical control and then from there i Honestly, you can either go between the TAC laser or the MI, uh, the 5 milliwatt. Now, I have the TAC laser on it, but I'm actually going to switch back over to the 5 milliwatt because you have that when you're sprinting around, you're going to have a little faster uh, draw time. And the hip fire on this gun isn't super particularly well, isn't super particularly uh, solid on it. Uh, well, I'll show you that real quick before we get into gameplay. But this is the build out that I found that seems to kind of work very well at least for my gameplay style which is um, semi medium aggressive guys we're gonna get into some gameplay and show this bad boy off and away we go Uh, sitting in the corner, damn it. Yeah, what's up? back up there oh I just got slapped that was embarrassing Yeah, I'm uh, working on it, or I'm just doing a video on it right now. So the one nice thing about this gun is that it's got a 50 round mag, which really helps when you want to engage multiple enemies at once. Oh. Right by my window. You know, I. It's like the loudest exhaust in the world. Do, 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 do. Enemy contact. Contact with enemy. What? play on my part.
keep on them. We're winning this one. Sitting in there. Always sitting in a corner. Again? Oh, it's a different player. All right, guys. So as you can tell, like, I mean, it didn't go super well in that gameplay, but as you can see, like, it definitely had a lot less recoil, and you were able, I was able to reach out and touch the enemies a little further. Granted, uh, especially corner camping is back. It's always been back. But again, just to give you a quick rundown on that, uh, like, like as you can see, like, I didn't have a super fast ADS time. I mean, still fast enough. But at least it was, I was able to reach out and hit the enemies a little further. Now, the one thing I will say, the compensator is nice because it does help a little more with the vertical control. But I would say I, I'm probably going to go actually back to the light flash guard because it does help a little bit more that, uh, it does help a little bit more uh, with the BSA. Even though it does have pretty good BSA, it does help a little bit more. So you're actually going to, you don't feel like you have to put as many shots down range in order to get the enemies down. That and it also does help a lot with the hip fire spread. Now I didn't do any hip fire kills in that gameplay, but like I said, guys, this thing is a lot of fun. It is a little, uh, what's the right word? Wonky. It uh, takes a little bit of work, but it, overall it is a lot of fun. And then of course, these are the kill effects for this gun. And then uh, the muzzle flashes. Guys, like I said, you're gonna have a good time. If you haven't unlocked this, I definitely recommend you unlock the CBR, AKA the P90. Until next time, hopefully you like this video. Remember, shoot first, shoot last when you're gonna fight. Laters.